Hey guys, welcome back to day two of Animal Mashups. If you're new and haven't seen the first video, go ahead and check it out. Meanwhile, let's get on with the video. And our first animal is beaver. I like the beavers from Narnia. <laughs> All right, second animal, be good. Warthog, what in the world? How am I gonna mash a cute and cuddly creature with a not so cute and cuddly creature? Oh well, I love a challenge, let's get to it. All right, for the first sketch, I did the back half of a beaver and the front half of the warthog, but I wasn't sure about this, so I went ahead and made another sketch. This time I made the back legs and tail of the beaver, the front legs of the warthog, the face of the beaver, and then the warthog tusks. It looks a little bit better, but we can do better. Let's work on getting a good pose for this creature so we can see it better. All right, all right, that looks good. I think I'll go with this look. Time to clean it up. This looks so cute! Yep, this is definitely the look I'm going for. Now it's time to color. I like to call this the base color, so when I add texture to it later, it won't become see-through. So let's add some texture. It's getting better and better every layer. But now it's time for the shade and shadow. I said shade and shadow. I meant to say shine and shadow. I could re-edit, but I don't feel like it. And there we go. Look at that dimension. It's so pretty. Now it's time for a quick background. I put a lot more detail into this one than the previous one, because beavers usually in the forest and warthogs and I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I guess the previous one took a lot more work, so I didn't put much work into the background because I was just tired and I wanted to get it over with. But this one took not so long, so I don't know. <laughs> it's only day two and I'm getting tired. I'm gonna, no! <laughs> that I can do this. I know I can do this. If I can do this for Inktober, then I can do it here too. <laughs> I'm not that tired. I'm just being silly. But here's the signature, which means the video is done. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I did have fun with this. I mean, it did take a little while to make, like over the course of a week or two. I don't know. I was just busy with some other things, so. But it does look adorable. I, If I could go back and change it, I would add some more warthog details, but the warthog is, like, noticeable. Like, it's not invisible or anything, so I think it's fine. Before we officially end this video, we gotta go over the data. I started this November 25th and ended it December 11th. Um, like I said, it took a while. <laughs> I was busy with other things. Let's see, 37 layers were used and the track time is four hours and 26 minutes. It's definitely a lot shorter than the previous one. All right, now on to pricing practice. The layers used for the painting itself was actually 31, not 37, because of the added sketching and the pictures and all that stuff. So I took that off. It's 31 layers used, not 37. So that'll be $31. I worked a total of 4.43 hours, so times that by the minimum wage of $8, I got $35.44. Making the total price $66.44. I am slowly learning how to do commissions, so that will be available soon, hopefully. Let me know if you guys think this is a good strategy for pricing. Alright, now this video is officially over. Thank you guys so much for watching, it means a lot to me. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all the works, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye!